Hello and welcome to CryptoCoin.News. And today on Emerging Coins This Week, ICON connecting crypto to itself and beyond. We often take the technology that we rely on for granted. Every day we trust countless of systems to work together seamlessly without a second thought. We only notice the complexity when a service we are using goes down unexpectedly, such as Slack's recent episode. Behind the apps that power the world lies massive technical infrastructure that lets everything work together. That's right, the decentralized future will need this sort of infrastructure in order to function, and ICON aims to provide this connection. ICON is a network of networks, but also has its own cryptocurrency, ICX, which operates as both a means of payment and a protocol for connecting between blockchains. ICON positions itself as the link between various cryptocurrencies, regardless of their governance models. The idea goes that currently the only way for cryptocurrency communities to interact with each other is through exchanges. This connection is limited and exchanges also suffer from centralization. Exactly. ICON allows different blockchain communities to connect with one another and share their individual resources directly. This is done by using blockchain IDs to allow payments and exchange different currencies through DAX wallets. They've also developed a proprietary artificial intelligence system that optimizes economic decision-making. The product is called DaVinci Labs, and it is already being used by insurance companies and banks to analyze risk and macroeconomic trends. ICANN plans to use the technology to analyze their token network in order to optimize compensations. This will make ICANN more flexible and easier to change in response to market forces. Sounds highly useful. Indeed. The Korean-based company launched their token in October of last year, which has since risen to 23rd place on CoinMarketCap.com. The price per token has risen significantly from the ICO price of 11 cents USD. Now it sits at $1.65, equaling a return of 15 times. And the circulating supply as of now is around 390 million ICX, which is just short of the total supply of almost 400 million 300,000 ICX. This leads to a market cap of $640 million US and a 24 volume of around $45 million US. And now with us, we have the business development manager of ICANN, Scott Smiley. Hello, Scott. So, will ICX become a method of payment for goods and services? ICX has a number of different functions, um, but it will be used and actually is currently being used for um, a term of a method of payment for goods and services. Um, for for example, uh, we have uh, we're in the process of setting up an accelerator uh, in San Francisco, and part of the acceleration process is working with a number of different. Um, strategic service providers, like helping our startup company, other startup companies uh, get access to PR and legal counsel and things of that nature. And the service providers that have partnered with the accelerator all accept um, ICX tokens as payment for their services. Um, and I also think there's actually um, a couple of vending machines set up in Korea that, that accept ICX. But um, and then there'll also be uh, decentralized applications that build on top of ICON that will likely accept uh, ICX as payment for whatever it is that they're trying to do. Um, Thank you, yeah. Scott. Earlier today in a conversation with Scott, he also commented on the way for ICON to stay on its roadmap, communication is a key factor. The team sets up weekly meetings and workshops to ensure everybody is on the same page. Scott shared with us that ICON plans on setting up a global network of accelerator programs, with one in Korea already established. Those accelerators plan on supporting developers interested in developing within the ICON platform, with another one being set up in San Francisco by the end of the summer. Tokyo and Singapore are next. The project will introduce developers with service providers and help other entrepreneurs run a successful startup, like ICON has proven to do so already. This global network will also allow startups to find investments in different countries around the globe, while also receiving support from ICON. And that's all for now. I'm Stan Przygotsky. And I'm Helen Moss. Remember to subscribe. Until next time.